Good evening, students. The agenda of today's discussion is the method of sections. This is a very popular technique and can be used to determine the internal forces within the members of a truss. So here is how it works. Listen and watch. The core idea is to cut through a truss by a section. This section should include no more than three members. Draw a free body diagram of the isolated portion of the truss. Apply the equations of equilibrium to determine the forces acting on the members of the section. And that's done. Now let's explore this method with the help of an example. And here we go. Okay, now let's start with example number two. For the given plane truss, calculate the axial forces in the members Fe, Fe, Fc, Fc and bc so these are the three members where we will be calculating the forces how to do that we'll use the method of sections but the initial sop is absolutely same right so we are going to replace these supports with appropriate reactions and uh, here we go Done. now what's up now go for fx0 so as you can see there is uh, only one horizontal force so simply write ax plus zero or ax is equal to zero nothing else if you go for summation fi zero these are the forces positive negative negative positive anything else no sir write them down and uh, try to simplify it as much as you can okay that's all we get so as you can see there is only one equation and two unknowns okay go for moment is equal to zero let's take the moment about point a when you do that, automatically AY and AX will be out of the picture. You cannot drop perpendiculars on these two forces. So you are basically left with these three forces. Okay. So how to approach? So RD multiplied by the perpendicular drop from A. So this is going to be add them up. 333 3, 3 is 9 plus 9 RD anti-clockwise. Here it is. Very easy. 6.66 into 6 clockwise that's why negative then 2.22 into 3 clockwise again negative and equate it to 0 solve it you will get rd put this value over here and you will get the value of ay this is what you get done sir now what we are going to do is watch watch so we are supposed to find forces in members fe fc fc and bc bc so let me pass a section okay let me pass a section through these members make sure that the numbers of number of members cut are only three not more than three okay here we go easy now which side are you going to consider if you take a look at the left side and the right side i can see there are only two forces over here i can see there are eight two three three forces so better to go with or select a side which has less number of forces Okay, that means less number of forces means less effort in working out the moments and resolving the forces into components for X and Y equilibrium conditions. So uh, let's start. So force from E towards the section, from C towards the section, from C towards the section. And this is how it would look. Okay, obviously this is 3 and this is 3. Since these two sides are same and here the angle is 90 degree, these two angles will be same. Okay. So 45 and 45. I've already done that. Very basic. <clears throat> done, sir. Now what? Now apply the equilibrium condition. Start with uh, taking the moment. So let's take the moment about C equal to zero. What is the benefit? Sir, uh, FCF passes through it. Again, you don't. That is out of the picture. FBC passes through it. This also is out of the picture. Even, sir, this 6.66 kilonewton force is also passing through this point C. So these three forces are out of the picture. So we are just left with FEF and 5.18. Oh, very nice. Irish, start with moment zero about C. Okay. Done, sir. Now what? Watch. Watch, watch, watch. FEF multiplied by perpendicular drop from C. That is three. 3 times of FEF, anti-clockwise, positive. Here it is. Done so. 5.18. Force, perpendicular dropped. 3. 5.18 multiplied by 3. Anti-clockwise, positive. 
solve for fef what you get is 5.18 but negative okay which indicates that this member e f will be under compression right i will prepare the chart at the end don't worry secondly what you guys can do is take uh, fx equal to zero and for that you need to have the component of fcf okay this angle over here is 45 degree so this is going to be fcf cos 45 and over here you will have fcf sin 45 so when you go for fx equals zero negative so and this fbc is also negative and this fef is also negative any other force i think we have taken into account all of them let me write this fbc yes fbc fcf uh, fcf what cos 45 here it is done sir and fef here it is fef so all the forces have been taken into consideration okay can you simplify this let me see what can be done okay and uh, basically we already have the value of fef that I have plugged it in over here uh, this is what you get simplify it simplify as much as you can frame it into some sort of equation and then let's go ahead now if you watch we have to deal with forces along the y direction so this over here let me aqua color use the aqua color positive negative positive any other force I think we are done. We are done. Let me write it down. FCF sin 45. Yes, sir. Uh, plus 5.18. Yes, sir. Minus 6.66. Yes, sir. All the forces have been taken into account. You can clearly see in this equation, there is only one unknown that is FCF. Just solve it. Okay. Let me erase all the stuff. By the way, you will be getting all the notes inside the application. Uh, the PDF uh, will be made available to you. Don't worry, right? All the notes are in HD quality, high quality to be very precise. You can zoom in as much as you want. Okay. So here we are. Once you get the value of FCF as 2.093, you can punch in that value into this equation one and calculate the value of FPC. Isn't it lovely, right? Finally, we are going to prepare the chart. Let me move away from it. As you can see, the value of FBC obtained is 3.7. That means in the magnitude column, FBC, FBC will write 3.7. And since it has worked out as positive, I'll simply put a T over here, which indicates that the member BC in the member BC or member BC is under tension. Understood. Okay. Similarly, you can uh, uh, put all of uh, the remaining members and write their corresponding magnitudes nature. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you very much.